In the dinosaurs and mammals, we will be discussing about the line to humans. So, we have seen that how different organisms develop from the other type of species. So, where did the human come from? Where in the mammals human connect? Where in the whole animal kingdom human connect? So, that's what we are going to discuss. So, the humans are related to a group of animals or the mammals which is called primate. So, one of the oldest of the modern placental mammal groups are the primates. The name primate come from the primus that means first. So, these were the first uh, organisms or these are one of the most rare and obscure group of the mammals. The humans are primates, so first among animals. So, this is not something to do with the, that they were developed uh, first in the mammals, but instead that these are, ex uh, these are explained in the culture as the first. For example, uh, in uh, Islamic teaching, we say that the uh, human is Ashraful Makhlukat, Insanik Ashraful Makhlukat hai. So that's why this is called Primus, the first, it was the first of all animals. So, Homo sapiens, again, the name, uh, it is very, very, uh, you know, self-serving name, wise person. So, the person who named itself would say something nice about it. So, uh, the Homo sapien has the privilege of choosing the name. So that means the human being is naming itself and when they name it, they call themselves wise person. And for the most of their history, the primates were rather rare and rather obscure group. We didn't know much about it and if we see their fossils, they were, you know, not very dominating. They were not very much prevalent in the ancient times. So early primates share a number of features. Uh, so for example, they had the agility in the tree, for example, they were uh, mobile shoulder joint, grasping hand and feet, sensitive finger pads. So, all of these things uh, were helping them to live on the top of trees and they had the larger than average brain. So, if we see all the primates, all of these things may be in common with them. And they had good binocular vision. Binocular vision means that they had two eyes and with the help of these two eyes that would able to see from for the large distances and they had the enhanced parental care. We have discussed earlier that the mammal babies, they were not very much promiscuous and still not are and they are dependent on their mothers for the care. So, one baby at a time, uh, long time in the womb, long period of parental care, delayed sexual maturity long lifespan. So, all of these things, these are true for the primates. So, early primates, just like Plesia dapsis, a dapis were squirrel-like animal that may have climbed trees and fed on fruit, seeds and leaves. So, these were squirrel-like mammals and the basal primates radiated in the Paleocene, Eocene and Oligocene. So, these are the different uh, time periods in which the basal primates radiated. So here you can see the Paleocene uh, primate, which is Plesia dapis. So here you can see it's pretty much resembles that of squirrel of today. It has the skull, it has the cervical vertebra, the shoulder bone looks like us, uh, the rib cage is just like us, the lumbar vertebra is just like us, the hip bone is pretty much same. We do not have tail, but these uh, early primate had the tail. And we will discuss that how did that, uh, where did that tail go? And you can see that these are living on their fours. They were living on their fours, fed on the trees uh, with the, uh, the products from the plants. So, and we have a further uh, classification of these uh, monkeys, right? So, these monkeys were the true monkeys. These true monkeys arose in Eocene and they diverged into two groups. So, further primates. For the, uh, primates were diverged into true monkeys and the these were the two monkeys were of two types one are the new world monkeys of south america and the old world monkeys of africa asia and europe so new world monkeys are the marmosets and the spider monkeys so these are the monkeys that you would see in the south america 
and they had the flat noses and prehensile tails that means their tails were able to uh, you know grasp the trees uh, works like an other limb right so use an extra limb in swinging through the trees and old world monkeys macaques and baboons narrower projecting nose and non prehensile trees so they had the nose just like us and uh, they had no tail at all so when i asked that where did that tail go when we divide the monkeys into new world and old world monkeys the old world monkeys didn't have the tails and we uh, apes uh, or our ancestors the apes were developed in the uh, through from the old world monkeys so apes arose from the old world monkeys before the end of oligocene and the apes were radiated the apes were radiated in africa in the miocene and one of the earlier ape is proconsul and it had no tail large brain case and high intelligence so all the things are consistent at this point and ran uh, ran about on the ground along low branches on all fours and fed on food but it is still not bipedal it is not working or walking on the two legs instead it is working on the four legs so here you can see the picture of uh, the miocene proconsul so it is an ape and it had no tail and you can see the long arms as well and skull everything matches but only thing that is not matching is that it is walking on its four limbs